Have you ever wondered what a two-thread overlock edge or a two-thread rolled hem is all about? I mean, traditionally you have two loopers and a needle at least, so that's three. So how do we actually get our serger to work with just two threads? So I do have two needles in here, so I'm gonna start by just removing the left needle. And so it's almost set up first as a three-thread rolled hem. Take the spool off the machine that you are no longer using. Next, as you open up the front door, you will find the two thread converter is stored right here in the front of the machine. As you slide this out, it's kind of nicely protected in there. You're gonna see that it's just kind of this knob and this little finger, and it will attach right where this kind of opening is. There's like a little mouth here, but it is an attached to the upper looper. So let's first go ahead and remove the upper looper thread. To I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of cut it there, swish this out of the upper looper itself. This little tail will, will shimmy out later. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the thread I am not using. So we are using right now the right needle, which is the blue thread, and the lower looper, which is going to be the green. We still have to make the machine pretend that it has thread in this upper looper. So the two thread converter is gonna do just that. The little knob is gonna be on top. So just go ahead and slide it into the mouth. So just slide it all the way in, and then just kinda hold on to it. Because what you need to do is that you actually need to push the other end behind the upper looper. So that kind of tip right here sits in the back of the eye. So when we go ahead and, and we can just take a stitch here while we're watching, and that pink thread will, will uh, slide its way away here, you will see that the upper looper is kind of catching the lower looper thread, dragging it with it as it comes all the way to the needle. So it's coming, and so your thread that you see along the edge of your fabric is gonna be all the same color. The lower looper color of thread will be seen both on the front and the back. So you can do this as a traditional overlock edge, but it's two thread instead of three thread. If you wanna do it as a rolled hem, you're gonna go ahead and take out the stitch finger, which let's just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just slide that out. So now it's actually going to be a two thread rolled hem. You could shorten the stitch length and you don't have to do much for tension, but let's go ahead and stitch and I'll show you the result. So it's so nice that you can just use one thread in the looper because it wraps around the whole edge. You really can get any density that you want. And of course, if you want this to be a contrasting color, put that color in the lower looper when doing a two thread. Your needle thread, the blue one, just barely shows, so you could again match or you could contrast if you want a little extra pop of color. Play around with your cutting width here. So depending on your fabric, you might need to adjust that a little wider or a little narrower to see what the look is that you're after. But you can put such a delicate edge. I love this for a, a scarf or really lightweight fabrics. A two thread is ideal. It's not like a rolled hem with three threads where you're always trying to just tuck one of those into the back. Here we just have this simple one smooth, smooth thread going from the back all the way around to the front. This could be decorative threads. This could be thicker threads. You can do a wide two thread where right now we're doing the narrow two thread with the inside right needle. Switch that out to the outside left needle and you've got a wide version that is absolutely gorgeous. Play around with that two thread converter and don't forget when you go to take it off, put it right back where it's supposed to be and then you'll never lose it for the next time you do a two thread overlock.